Earlier this week, Blizzard Entertainment opened their doors to GameSpot for a look around their studios. Greeting the team at the entrance was the Blizzard Orc statue. Forged from Chinese bronze, the 15-foot sculpture sits upon Blizzard's ambition statement and the core values that the employees live by. The lobby was decorated with giant Wervin and Griffin plushies, a statue from StarCraft, and an exact replica of Arthas's Frostmourn sword. Jim Rayner from StarCraft II and Sarah Kerrigan transformed into the Queen of Blades statues were also on display. A Dwarf Hunter statue stands guard to the museum and theater. Inside the museum were trophy cases filled with Blizzard spoils from the success of all their franchises. Including GameSpot's 2004 Game of the Year. Miniature sculptures of a Deathling and a Paladin riding a Mammoth were in the museum along with a copy of StarCraft that an astronaut brought into space with him. And a certificate from the military thanking Blizzard for setting up their network in Afghanistan so they can continue playing WoW while fighting for freedom. The Samwise Didier original oil paintings that were eventually used for box art were also on the walls of the museum. And of course, what would Blizzard be without a super sick theater for numerous occasions? A Draenei Paladin mini sculpture introduced the area that displayed the Blood Elves and Draenei races that were introduced in the Burning Crusade expansion pack. After all, the orc leader stood guard to the break room, making sure people cleaned their own dishes. On display was a map of Azeroth when WoW originally launched, which is now a collector's item. DC Unlimited statues of the different races and their flags from WoW filled one of the hallways along with box art from all the WoW expansions. One wall displayed all the different artwork from the WoW training card game with notable pieces from Samwise Didier. This poster showed the variances of the World of Warcraft comic series.
In the Blizzard library, employees can check out many tools for their trade, including books on art and 3D modeling, to old school video games. Other artwork was on display including this map of Sanctuary from Diablo. Here's one of the employee lounges fully equipped with a blizzard pool table. More art permeated the halls with displays of employee artwork that isn't affiliated with any of Blizzard's games. Closing out the tour was this statue of Tychus Finley, as well as the Knock, the all-powerful control center where our cameras weren't allowed. <laughs>